Hello everyone, today is July 6th of 23. We have another fig tasting review and this time the variety is Pantresa and I already made a video of fig tasting for this variety however I have one more fig on this tree that is ripe and I'm hoping that to be even of better quality so let me just remove it has a good attachment to the branch did not want to come down that easy but let's take a look at the fruit this time is even more yellow than last time so I would uh, assume that it was even now riper you can see but let's take a indoor and then we'll do tasting review all right back inside with Ponte Tresa let's take a look at this fig this is the leaf pattern that I find a lot on this tree and Let's take a look at the fig itself. It is uh, kind of yellow amber in color. It lost its uh, green coloration as it was ripening and I left this one to ripen more than the previous fruits that I picked. They were more kind of olive green than this one. This one you can see has this brown sugar spots they call them so that would be the indicator there this one should be also sweet kind of translucent skin even I can see through a little bit possibly I'm not sure if this is kind of violet purple color maybe inside we'll see and the uh, neck kind of goes into the body it's not really pronounced However, it does elongate it. It looks like a pear shape almost. And the uh, stalk is quite long, probably about 12 millimeters. Let's take a look at the eye. And eye is about 2-3 millimeters in size. This uh, does not have any nectar leaking. Okay. Let's weigh it first. Uh, let me see, 37. 31 and a half. Where are we gonna put it? About here. Wow, very nice. Now once I cut it open, it becomes even more softer. It uh, lost the support of the other half, so they're quite wiggly now. Skin is quite soft. And I could see that even at the top, its skin could peel off easily and the color is just beautiful it is kind of burgundy in color red and more purple towards the bottom and the eye quite nectary very very juicy all right let me take a few pictures all right let's take a look at the interior one more time looking very nice now you can see here that this fig has this split in a pulp like this cavity vertically some varieties like black Madeiras 
they have one that's horizontal but this one is elongated fig that's why okay hmm fantastic you won't believe what I have tasted <laughs> I think I just tasted coffee we had the uh, I'm not sure uh, what it was it a strawberry honey and a little bit of coffee that kind of nuttiness hit me right away such a uh, interesting flavor I never tasted this in a fig so far let me let me do this upper part and again it's like a mocha or um, yeah something like a smoky uh, like yeah actually I would say coffee <laughs> really interesting flavor oh what a pleasant surprise Pontresa um, and the honey was uh, quite runny kind of liquidy not as thick but very pleasant enough sweetness just perfect balance of sweetness and the flavor that goes with just perfect very nice uh, very smooth I did taste some seeds and the skin it was just a kind of medium in texture not too soft not too tough all right let's test Oops. Bricks. Check. Wow. Quite surprised. I did not expect it to taste this. So, I did already eaten uh, two that I've made a review of Pantresa and that video did not post it I was waiting for this one to ripen so I can then determine if this one's gonna be better and in the other two I did not taste this coffee <laughs> flavor wow quite amazing and it's pleasant very pleasant now I don't know how many different varieties I have already let me just scrape a little bit of uh, skin maybe that flavor comes from the skin now watch how juicy nectary is now this pulp once I cut those acinies up they released all of this nectar I'm surprised that it's only what was it 31 and a half in weight grams hmm okay a little bit too much I would say and then in sweetness this tasted as 27 let's check now you see it now let me take a look wow I was almost right 28 even very nice this was a great variety I'm very happy with Pontresa um, I did read uh, the story this one came from I believe uh, Dan my friend Dan and he 
mentioning his uh, um, a Figbit post that uh, this variety takes time to mature so be patient uh, I believe this is now a three-year-old tree and uh, finally yes it did pay off yeah I can see that somebody would maybe uh, not wait and uh, after first year if it would produce fruit would we'll think well I don't like it but uh, this is worth waiting for this is a very very unique taste that I haven't experienced so far from any of the varieties and uh, perhaps for some of you that have Pantressa and uh, you didn't kind of feel this flavor I can only maybe suggest that uh, wait wait for the fruit to fully ripen you can see now the outside look what it looked like and uh, I think that's the magic for this variety waiting till almost drops and <laughs> down wait till it's fully ripe if I have another one I'm gonna keep it an extra day from this <clears throat> stage of ripeness <clears throat> excuse me thank you for watching